What's up guys, it's Pete. Our software partner, NiceLabel, has recently updated their driver to make it more streamlined and user-friendly, and I have really loved using it since these changes have gone through, so I wanted to walk through the installation of this driver as well. You don't need the NiceLabel labeling software to use it, and it's totally free, so I think it's worth picking up. You'll need a wireless network connected to both your computer and your printer, and you'll need an open port to use for the driver. If you haven't created a new port and don't know how to do it, you're in luck. NiceLabel has a tool in the wizard that allows you to create your own. If you're planning on setting up a port, you'll need the IP address from the printer. If your printer doesn't have an IP address, you can watch our other video on assigning one to a printer. I'll put it up on the screen right now. You'll also need a Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 operating system, or a Windows Server 2008 through 2019. With all of that out of the way, let's begin. First, you'll have to follow the link in the description to navigate to NiceLabel's software page. From here, you guessed it, hit the download button. Once the download completes in your browser, allow it to open up and unzip the files wherever you want. I'm just going to use the default directory. Once they have been unzipped, hit OK, and you'll probably get a Windows notification asking for permission to run the wizard. Go ahead and allow that. Now, the installation wizard will open. On this page, you can just hit Next. Click Install Printer Driver and accept the license agreement on the next page. On the next page, we will select the method that we're using to install the driver. This tutorial is for wireless installation, so choose Network Port, and the wizard will progress to the next screen. Make sure you hit the Network Port button and don't just hit the Next button because it looks like the option is highlighted when that first shows up, but it would actually take us to a different page. Wait for the Network Printer list to populate. Mine has detected the printer that I want, but I'm going to run a manual connection in case anybody watching this has any issues. If you see the correct printer in the list, feel free to click that and then click Add. Wait for the Network Printer list to populate. Mine has detected the printer I want, but I'm going to run through a manual connection, just in case anyone doing this has any issues. On this screen, select the type of printer you are using. Mine is an Epson C7500G, so I'll select that, and then hit Next. Now, if you've already watched our video on setting up a port for a new printer driver, which I'll link right now, you may have already had an open port available on your computer. For those of you who have not done this and perhaps don't know how to do this, I'll quickly walk you through the tool that NiceLabel Wizard has provided. We will use Create a New Network Port to get there. Once you've clicked Create a New Network Port, you can hit Next. Now we're in the Add Network Port Wizard. You don't have to change the port name unless you want to, but you do have to make sure you enter your IP address here before you hit Next. Now this is a screen where you choose your printer name. I recommend making it something distinctive, especially if you have multiple printers like we do. We have a lab full of printers, and I already have both Epson and Bartender drivers installed on this printer, so I'll also add a 3 and a nice label to the printer's name. Here's 3 and nice label. You can also change the default language, make a note of the location of the printer, add any additional comments, and choose to make this your default printer if you would like. Now we can hit install and our port will be created. I'll skip forward a minute or two to the end of the installation. Here I have my successful installation screen. If you don't have this, you may also encounter a Windows security pop-up that asks whether or not you want to trust the software. Go ahead and hit install. Hopefully after that, you'll have your successful operation screen. You may now exit the wizard or install another printer if you have one. Once that's all done, you can head over to infinitylabelgroup.com where you can stock up on ink, supplies, and labels. If you have any questions or need more information on our printers or the nice label software, get in touch with us through ipsyscan.com. This has been Pete. I'll see you next time.